as you can see here I already have one plan present now what I would like to do here is I would like to add a stair for this particular floor plan so for this let me see what is the height of the uh, this walls so let's go to for example south view so now you can see it is from level 1 to level number 2 so what let's suppose I would like to create a stair which should go from starting from level 1 to level number 2 so for that let's go to floor plan level number 1 and then go for under architecture tab you will see circulation panel and you'll find stair the moment you click on stair you are automatically in stair by component option now here you will see five options that is straight full step spiral then you have center and spiral then you have L shape winder and then you have U shape winder so let's suppose you want to create a straight stair starting from level 1 and ending at level number 2 so let's see what are some of the parameters for this so if you go to actual run width it is 1000 run width means the thickness of the stair next if you go to the properties you will find base level as level number 1 and in our case we would like to uh, shift our or uh, I want to uh, keep the top level as the level number 2 only next desired number of stairs we want to keep it as let's suppose 22 actual trip depth I would keep it as 250 and let's suppose you would like to set the maximum riser height then you can go to edit type and then from here you can change the maximum riser height so for a while I will keep it as it is click OK now also if you go to the type selector you will find there are different types of stairs which are available so let's suppose for a while I will use 190 mm by 250 mm so let's select this stair and then start creating the straight stair so let's suppose I would like to start so the first point you click will determine from where the straight uh, stair is starting so let's suppose I click it here now you can see I'm creating a straight, st a straight stair here so now you if you notice you will find that there are 10 risers created already and then 12 are remaining because the desired number of stairs are 22 next let's suppose if I click the entire length and then click anywhere here and click finish let's go to 3d view and now you can see our straight stair has been added now one thing you will notice is automatically once you add the stair or once you create the stair the railings will be added to it if you would like to delete this railing you can simply select it and delete okay let's go back and see how we can modify the stair also or we can create a different style so let's suppose let's go to stair again and then this time I would like to create the stair in multiple segment so let's suppose out of 22 11 I want to go st straight like this and the rest of the 11 steps I want to go to the right side so let's start it from here now you can see I created here so 9 rises are created 10 are created and then 11 are, 11 are created so click here and then go to the other side and then create the remaining stair okay so we have a mistake here so the mistake was actually once I create this 11 stairs here okay let me start from somewhere here so once this 11 stairs are created for the second set or the second segment I should start from little bit offset here because we need a space for adding the for the Revit to add a automatic landing so let's go somewhere here and click and then draw it now you can see we create we, we got a landing also so now we create the remaining 11 risers click and then click finish let's go to 3d view and now you can see our stairs have been created which is in two segments so one here then we have a landing and then to the right side let's select it again and then for example now this time let me delete it let's okay another thing to be noticed the actual run width determines the width, uh, width of the stair so if you measure from here to here it will come around 1000 which is by default so let's delete it now let's suppose I would like to create a stair whose actual run width should be let's consider 1500 and it should be all straight so you see what happens you can see the stair width is now 1500 alright next go to stair again 
and then let's see what is full step spiral so when I click on full step spiral let's go here and check just click on the center point and then we should give a radius value so let's suppose I would like to keep it like around 800 only and then click OK click finish go to 3d view and you can see your spiral stair has been created let's go back select it and delete this let's go to stair again and then we have something called center end and spiral so we provide the center and we give the end point and then we give the spiral here so now you can see click finish let me move it somewhere here go to 3d view and you can see the stair is start the center of the stair is somewhere here starting from here and it ends here so this is center and st stair now next let's go to stair again and then we will we'll see l shape winder so what is l shape winder once you click here what happens you, by default it will be having a l shape stair present so what I can do I can press space bar to orient it and let's suppose I would like to place it somewhere in here in the corner so I can just simply go and then click click finish let's go to 3d view and you will see you will notice here that this is how the our L shape pointer stair is created now what is the difference between the two segment stair which we have created before there we have when we create the first segment and the second segment we get a landing but in this case we don't get a landing we get a steps in the turns so let's select this and delete it and let me go back again and then what we'll do is let's go back to stair and then let's see what is u-shape winder so you click on u-shape winder and then again you can press spacebar to orient it and then let's place it somewhere here and click finish go to 3d view and then you will see it will create a u-shape winder with three segments so one is here second one on this side and then third one again somewhere here let's suppose you would like to see whether it is exactly reaching till the level number two or not so what we can do let me go back and then let me go from the east view or from the north view and then let's change it to wireframe and then you can see it will reach till the second floor here so that's how we can create stair by components in our next video we will see how we can create stair by using the sketch mode thank you very much